Try our server life. Oh, you know what? That's a good idea. I actually think we got some good posts out of two hot takes. Thank you for the suggestion. Punched a customer in her breast. Oh no, it's me. Diet Coke is not an appropriate response to how are you doing this evening? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why I ordered Coke Zero. To the guy that asked for teriyaki sauce at the Italian restaurant and then tipped $3 on $103. Listen, I think that this subreddit is entertaining to read, but there's not a whole lot from a, a streamer-based perspective, okay? Like, most of it is just like, my customer was an asshole to me today. And I, then when I look at it, I'm like, I agree. Try r slash DoorDash, <laughs> okay? Is it DoorDash or DoorDash underscore drivers? r slash DoorDash, okay. I'm looking for, for as much unhinged as possible r slash DoorDash is kind of crazy. <laughs> okay, you're not wrong. Um, so this happened five minutes ago. Hi, this is DoorDash connecting you to your Dasher for updates about your order. Sorry, Taco Bell is very slow today. That's all right. Thanks for letting me know. I take it you're asleep. Sleep tight, beautiful. OMG, wrong person. Ah. <laughs> oh, man. WTF is my driver on. <laughs> Sorry, this is, again, maybe a good subreddit to browse. I'm not sure about it being argumentative content. Is 2837? Question mark. I paid on DoorDash. The card said that it does not have enough money. Question mark. I paid through the app. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this happened, man. The only, I mean, I've had some... I guess, like, semi-humorous DoorDash situations. The one that got me the most, though, was when... Uh, and listen, I'm a, there's the asshole... I'm 50% the asshole. The driver is 50% the asshole. I ordered on the app, but the map... Despite the address being input correctly, the map put a pin on, like, a different part of the city, Okay that had a, a similar sounding address. I noticed that like 15 minutes after I made the order, so I called the driver and I said, hey, just so you know, like if you could use Google Maps or something, punch in this address uh, instead, because if you go to the other one, it's gonna take you across the city. And then he went like, oh, motherfucker, this fucking sucks. This fucking shit is so stupid. And then like hung up on me. And then he called me back like two minutes later and was like, hey man, sorry. I thought that was DoorDash support calling me. I didn't know it was the customer, so I just wanted to apologize. And I said, no worries, brother. It's, I get it. It's frustrating. We really appreciate it. And then when he finally showed up at our house, we had ordered like four personal pizzas and all the pizza boxes were like vertical in a reusable bag instead of stacked on each other horizontally. And my parents were like, I don't think that's how you're supposed to transport pizza. And I was like, I'm sure it'll be fine. And then my mom opened up her pizza and it was just totally fucked. Like all the, the ingredients had like slid off onto the top of the box and the crust was all like crushed and shit. <laughs> but we just laughed about it because it's just, you know, I mean, it's to get, it was more valuable to get the story than it was to get the meal because the story makes me laugh every time I think about it. Should I have had my account deactivated for talking to customers like this. Hey, it's your Dasher. I'm in Arby's. They said they do not have mozzarella sticks. Shall I send them to the pit? Yes, done. Joy laughing emoji, joy laughing emoji. <laughs> May I offer anything else that will please King Armando? May I offer jalapeno bites? Yes, that's fine. There's no longer staff, so I'll have to make it myself. Haha, <laughs> I didn't think this through. Now to Google how to make how I would be, listen, the, the first part was funny. The second, the, the rest of this, I would be like, all right, buddy, just bring the food. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> like I, I ordered DoorDash because I didn't want to like go through the effort of cooking. And now I'm, I got to laugh at all the jokes that you're putting in here. <laughs> did blur his name and then just write it too. 
P.S. Jokes aside, they're making it now. I'll be on my way soon. I mean, it's funny. <laughs> Pharaoh, please. Pharaoh. My temple needs its Pharaoh. Oh, man. I'm, just, I'm not going to put this one on the screen, but... Not trying to sound like... This is the DoorDash driver. Not trying to sound like a pervert, but just wanted to say you are beautiful. You sound like a pervert. Face palm emoji. Sorry, just tried to give you a compliment. <laughs> Oh, man. This happened to my friend. I hope the dasher is okay. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? Thank you for recommending this. It's not the same as React Core, but it's very funny. This is my exact uh, style of content. Thank you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to favorite this subreddit and read it when I'm using my bidet. Checkers has confirmed your order from DoorDash. Message from your dasher. I'm so sorry. I fell down and crash on bike. Please cancel. I was doing too much orders. <laughs> oh, man. That's really good. <laughs> that is really good. I did have a DoorDash order once where my wife ordered something, and I probably don't need to tell you what it is, but it came with a miso soup. And then when I went down to get the order, the dude was like, oh, yeah, sorry. I crashed on my bike and spilled like half your soup. And then he was just sort of looking at me like, I was like, oh, that sucks. But at the same time, I was like, what do you want from me? Like, if, like without being rude, I understand the plight of the DoorDash driver, but like, I didn't make you fall off of your bike. Like, I don't understand what I'm, like, if I'm supposed to give you money because you fell down, like, it's not my fault. You're not driving a Prius or something like that. I think he's just letting you know. I didn't do anything. I'm not the rain. I'm not his, his tire. Now I got to go up and explain to my wife why the miso soup is half empty and the bowl's all fucked up. And all the rest of the, <laughs> all the rest of the styrofoam in the bag is like covered in miso. We went wrong somewhere in the world. Or maybe it was like this before. This shit would terrify me, man. I mean, I think that's, the, that's what it's like designed to do. 295 drop all deliveries here. No trespassing. Do not enter. Guard dogs patrolling premises. Violators consent to waive all rights. There's no way this sign is legally binding, right? If you walk past this cone, you give up your right to not be killed? Like, that doesn't seem like it would hold up in court. <laughs> it depends on the state. Well, like, this is not even the same situation, okay? But I was on a walk with my daughter two or three weeks ago, and this house had a gate, and then in front of the gate, it was a wood gate, so you couldn't see through it. It wasn't like a chain link fence. It's important. In front of the gate, they had a big rock that they had painted to look just like a kitty cat. So my daughter said, oh my God, kitty rock, can I pet it? And I was like, it's, it's on the public side of the gate. It's past, like, it's closer to the sidewalk versus the... The, I was going to say the opponent's house, but you, you get what I mean, the person's house. As far as I'm concerned, that's kind of, it's not communal property in the sense that like I could put a, my own treehouse on it or something like that, but it's not like I'm trespassing. So I said, sure, go ahead and pet it. She went over to the, the rock and she was petting the rock and she was saying like, oh, cute kitty, cute kitty, even though it's just a rock. And then I saw on, a, on the gate, it had a sign that said like, beware of dog. It bites on sight or something like that. And I heard from the other side of the gate, I heard Cujo that was going like. <sighs> and I feel like you can be a good neighbor or you can be an insane shut in. But I feel betrayed that you straddled the line. You put out a decoration that was like, this is a friendly house. But then you also are like anybody that passes through the threshold of this gate will be summarily executed by my pet. Like that's good. I got baited. Yeah, exactly. So as soon as I heard the growling and the barking, I was like, we better get out of here. Because I'm sure like it's three seconds away from like a screen door slamming and like a, you know, well, 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 what if Kitty Rock caught another one? It's just, I don't mind, honestly. If you want to be the friendly neighbor, I'll stop and have a conversation with you. I'll remember the name of your dog and make small talk. If you want to be the insane neighbor, I will not make eye contact with you when I pass by your house. But at the same time, like you can't, you can't put one foot in both pools. 
it, no disrespect, but if your dog like starts making advances on us, I'm probably going to have to kill your dog because I don't know my own strength. And unless you've got like a Bernie's mountain dog or something like that, I don't see it going down like that dog's going to get one over on me, okay? If you've got a police trained German shepherd, sure, maybe, but even then, because I read the wiki how for like how do you kill a wolf and a dog is just a smaller wolf, I understand. When the dog bites you, um, it doesn't have an unlatch instinct. So all you do is, is offer your hand so your hand gets bitten and then you shove your whole fist down the dog's windpipe uh, and then you just put it in a rear naked choke with your hand in there until... You, so I'm just saying... Be careful what you wish for. When you put out that kitty rock that says, hey, this is a cute decoration, but then you've also got a sign that's like, we'll shoot trespassers on sight. I'm just saying, be careful, because that primes me. Now I'm going into fight or flight mode every time I walk past the, the house. This has got to be a, a, a psyop, right? This was written by, a, by DoorDash HQ a Hawaii delivery driver who pulled in $114,000 on DoorDash last year says the tips are awesome and it's like delivering in paradise. <laughs> His name is Ronnie Coleman. <laughs> so true. Lightweight, ain't nothing but a peanut. No, I, I'd be happy too if I was delivering peanuts all day for six figures in paradise. I'm malicious, mean, and scary. My sneer could curdle dairy. And violence-wise, my hands are not the cleanest. But despite my evil look, and my temper, and my hook, I've always yearned to be a concert pianist. Can't you see me on the stage performing Mozart, twinkling the ivories till they gleam? Though I do like breaking femurs, you can kill me with the dreamers, cause way down deep inside I've got a dream. I've got a dream. He's got a dream. You can